What's up guys? It's Kyle from Newell Strength located over here in Hillsborough, New Jersey. And one of the, the weekly videos that I've been trying to make for you all is, um, you know, on my computer I, I title it like The Happiness Project. I actually have that book right there by Gretchen Rubin, but uh, it's not based on that book. It, to me it was really just, okay, how can we help people be get get more to a happy state more often? Because that's part of health too and you got to take time to define that. So this past weekend we went away, uh, Devin, myself, two of my brothers, and you know their kids and, and uh, wives. In the past few weeks, I've been really, really just tapped out, you know, burnt out. Um, things just didn't seem to be, you know, going my way. I was feeling like everything was a chore, like I was just dragging things through mud. Um, so I needed that weekend away, you know, to really just kind of decompress. And it took me a while, you know, it took me a good day before I got into that zone. But one of the things we have to realize when we're trying to create our own uh, happiness is with your journal, when you, have, when you make that definition, so that's something we've been talking about, what does happiness look like? What does a great day look like for you? So you've got to know what that is. You've got to have a clear definition. The areas of your life that you're the most unshakable are the areas that you have very, very clear definitions for. So take the time to figure out your definition of happiness and success and wealth and health and all that. But if we're talking about happiness, right? So know what it looks like. But from my mapping, one of the things we'll also say is define it. So we defined it, know what it looks like, and refine it. What does it not look like? So remember the D and the R, okay? So define and refine. Those two things are, are, are critical because with me, it was like, I know what a, a great day looks like. I write it in my journal all the time, what happiness means to me. But over this past week, and I said, okay, what does it not look like? What am I no longer going to accept, you know, within my life? And that's a Tony Robbins thing where he talks about, you know, you need to be clear on what you'll no longer uh, stand for in your life. What is no longer going to be acceptable? So, um, You've got to think about that stuff and you've got to know what it looks like or otherwise you're just going to be chasing your tail. You're not going to know when you're off track or when you're on track. So uh, recipes, definitions uh, of how you're in certain states are very important to come up with because this stuff affects everything else you do in life. Your workouts, your health, your relationships. Uh, you can't, you know, a lot of people want to segment this stuff. But the gym is the gym and this is this and this. No, it's all connected. Uh, but that's been a belief of mine forever, and I know it to be true. So if you have any questions, hit me up. I'd be glad to answer them for you. In the meantime, I'll see you next week. Peace. Mm -hmm.